how to light your wood-burning stove. This video will instruct you in the best way to light and run an appliance burning wood fuel. First, you must prepare your stove to ensure the fire gets the air supply it needs to establish properly. To do this, you must open the air wash and primary air controls fully. There is an indicator at the top of many appliances to show which direction to move the control from close to open. If your stove does not have this, simply follow the instructions provided with your stove. These can be downloaded from the technical section of the Stovax website. Most appliances also have a secondary air control to greater aid the combustion of unburned gases which result in cleaner, more efficient combustion, particularly when burning wood. Most appliances have this control factory set. Next, open the door. Note the position of the log guard and the air inlet holes at the back of the stove. These are important features of the appliance. The log guard protects the user by holding the burning fuel inside the firebox and keeps it away from the glass. The air inlet holes circulate heated secondary air back into the burn chamber to reignite unburnt combustible gases, creating a cleaner, more efficient output. It is important to create a stable base for the fire to establish, so place fire lighters or paper amongst dry kindling wood on the grate or firebed. Kindling wood is very dry, small pieces of wood and twigs that will catch a light easily. Light the paper or fire lighters and wait for the flames to catch the wood alight and start burning vigorously. Leave the door slightly open as this will increase the flue pull to assist in lighting the fire and prevent condensation building up on the inside of the glass. Once the kindling is burning well, add larger pieces of split wood to create a stable firebed. For safety and efficiency reasons, do not load fuel above the log guard and the secondary combustion inlets at the back of the firebox. You can now close the door whilst the full load of fuel lights. Experience will tell you when it is necessary to refuel your stove. If you are lighting your appliance for the first time, be aware that it will need to settle and fixing glues and paint to fully cure, so take care to operate at a low temperature for the first few days. During this time, the appliance may give off some unpleasant odours. Keep the room well ventilated to avoid a build-up of fumes. Please be aware that during use, rope seals may discolour. This is normal. Do not touch the paint during the first period of use. Running and refueling your stove. Once a healthy fire has been established, to ensure you are burning fuel efficiently and gaining the maximum amount of heat from your stove, close the primary air control fully and control the burning rate to the desired level by adjusting the air wash control. If the fire starts to struggle to burn, then reopen the air controls until it has established again. The effects of opening and shutting the air wash control will produce a noticeable effect on the burning of the wood and will give you control over the burn rate of the stove. Shutting the air wash control reduces the burn rate and lowers the heat output. Opening the control increases the burn rate and raises the heat output. Be careful not to burn with the primary air control open for long periods of time as this could cause your stove to over fire and is likely to cause permanent damage. If your appliance has an adjustable secondary air control, keep this open. Wood burns best on a bed of ash approximately 25 mm or 1 inch deep, so remember when cleaning out your stove before lighting to leave a small amount of ash on the firebed or grate. To refuel your appliance, ensure the air wash control is fully open for a few minutes to produce glowing red embers. Then slowly open the door, taking care to ensure the firebox is not full of flames and rake the embers evenly over the firebed using a poker. Carefully add new split logs to the firebed. There is a table in your product's instruction manual which will give you the ideal length of wood for the model you have. Do not load fuel above the log guard and the secondary combustion inlets at the back of the firebox. Close the door and burn at a high temperature with the air wash control fully open for a few minutes to make sure the new logs ignite before adjusting the air wash to suit the burn rate required. Experience will tell you how often to refuel to maintain the desired heat output. 
Do not burn large amounts of fuel with the air wash control closed for long periods of time. This reduces the glass cleaning effect and causes tars and creosotes to build up in the appliance and flue system. If your glass does become discoloured during use, burning the appliance at a high temperature with the air wash open for a short period also reduces tars and creosotes. For really stubborn deposits, it may be advisable to also open the primary air control.